All right. <laughs> Swings, roundabouts, roller coaster, ups and downs in the orchid hobby. <sighs> oh dear. Successes and messes. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Self-esteem is on the lowdown today, so give this video a like. I would so appreciate it. Thank you so much because it is not just close to spring cleaning, but it is also spring cleaning time. And uh, where do we start? Where do we start? Let's do the Phalaenopsis. So this is my KTC Kauki Chakut. Earlier on, when I was doing an Epsom salt soak for all my summer bloomers, trying to get ahead of the magnesium deficiency they have, this orchid started to fall apart on me. Tried to give it a gue, but it had stem rot, even though that one root was kind of viable. And after that video, it didn't take very long. 24 hours later, the first leaf on the bottom started to collapse, and you can see the remnants of it. So here we go. Everything that goes into the greenery recycling goes in here and everything that goes into media recycling goes over there. Next up, um, <laughs> even, oh dear, bringing out my popcorn haruri. A moment of silence. So sad. What a mess too cold for the winters, too dark, and I couldn't bring it back. It was going too fast. The warmer weather hasn't come soon enough for this orchid. Yeah, another moment of silence. This one hurts. Now, because of the way this one is mounted on this inorganic mount together with the scrubby pad, there's not much I can do to separate what is recyclable for the green stuff and the inorganic stuff. So I will not be replacing any of these orchids that I put in here because two winters back to back succession, the summers aren't long enough for them to recover. So whatever goes because the winter stresses are too high, they will not be replaced unless my circumstances change. And then we'll revisit the thought of maybe replacing the KTC Kauki Chakut and getting the bloom that I wanted and well definitely a popcorn haruri. This is a tough one. Anyway, another tough one because gifted. This came from Katija Orchideen. This is a Ludicia Descolor. It never rooted. It never wanted to stay with me. A little cutting. I failed this orchid badly. I'm very sorry. To Kateva or Hirin that I messed this one up because gifted orchids, they are special, they're precious, they mean a lot to me. And uh, if people trust me with orchids, I want to kind of, you know, bring them through and be proudly able to display what is going on. The same with this one, which is super, super sad because this is a little section cutting of a Caracetum alborairens from the orchid room. Never made it, never successfully grew. It tried to do two growths for me in the two years that I had it. Two years, I say, because it never came out of its funk last year already. And then, of course, I think if it tried to grow a new growth, I had a thrips issue where this orchid was living. Oh my goodness. I'm so, so sorry to the orchid room that I cannot report any happy news with this one. Such a shame. Now, these are my messes. I always like to, well, I try to end a video on a positive note. So I'm gonna show you my mediocre success on trying to recover as a Lemnia Midas. I have this one set up just like the tolumnias that I have in my collection, just with lava rock in a basket. Not a hanging basket, it was a stationary basket, but still, it bloomed beautifully the first year and then it just collapsed on me. 
So this has now been in rescue mode for the past two years. You can see I'm losing a fan at the base there. So these orchids that I'm showing you now, we will be addressing them, but in another video, I don't wanna make this too long because I have to recover again, like the video, please. <laughs> I have to recover. I don't like what I'm seeing. I, don't, I have to get over the fact that I'm binning orchids. Selemia Midas is not a goner. It even bloomed for me while it was in this container. But yeah, anyway, that is a, let's say, a mas o menos success, approximately. And then we've been dealing with Brassocatlia gyrat kiku for the longest time. I got the lecker ratio wrong for this orchid that has a Brassavola parent in it. I know, excuse the muck, I'll explain that now. I got the ratio wrong for Lekka and Brassavola roots. It has a Brassavola in it and, well, it doesn't have Fusarium. These were cuttings from a major cleanup to check if the rhizome had Fusarium. It didn't. It had something else dodgy going on. So I wasn't expecting these to work and all I did was place a paper towel at the base for humidity. That's why this looks so gunky. I know it's disgusting, but I have live roots and two tiny new growths, not just on this one. There's one growth on this one, but this one, same situation, came from the mother plant, also just a paper towel, not expecting anything. I have not recovered Brassavola orchids in my collection successfully ever. That's an enigma to me. So. I didn't put my normal hob filter material in the bottom. And there's no surprises there then that the paper towel just degraded. But I have roots. I have two tiny new growths on this one. So we're going to be doing some lava rock revival with these and see if that works, if I can't grow them to strength. Same as the mother plant. I just can't touch the mother plant right now because it's not the right time. Still gets a little too cold for me at night. I would prefer to see new roots growing before I touch that orchid. And then last but not least, successes, well, dendrobiums. You know, this is a berry odor cakey from the class of 2022. It grew its own new little growth at the base. There it is, try to move out of the reflection. And this one's ready to be potted up, to be grown on. And the cutest of them all, the cutest of them all. <laughs> this one bloomed. The other one didn't bloom. The other one just focused on a new growth, which is cool. And this one has not focused on a new growth at all. Let's see if I focus that, there we go. Nope, not gonna do a new growth, but you know what? It's gonna bloom. So this is the cutest little thing. It worked for my Aphilum cakeys back in 2022. I never expected it from a single cane of a berry odor cakey. I always thought they would need a little bit more, but it seemed happy enough, even though it was inside all the time. So we'll be potting this one up with its classmate right here into semi-hydro and lava rock in a separate video and then grow them on. I've got more dendrobium berry odor cakeys to go. Not sure if we're gonna do that all in one video. We might, we might as well make a little communal pot. Number two, because I have, let me show you, from last year, <laughs> 2022, also cakeys, where I demonstrated different ways of removing cakeys from orchids. Huh, these are the ones from last year and they wanted to bloom, except they were close to the hedge and one night something came along and chomped off all the buds. So that's okay. I mean, you know, this would have been a wonderful little display of blooms, but it didn't work out. You can see right here, something came and munched on that. But anyway, so that would be one community pot of Dendrobium Berryota cakeys, and then they will be joined by their other classmates in a separate pot, because I'm not unpotting this one right here to put the other ones inside. Oh well, as a quick update, it's rooted in beautifully. I don't have to even need that stake anymore. I'm not gonna lift the pot up by the roots. I could if I wanna push my luck, but we're not gonna do that. So successes and messes, that saddens me. Anywho, now you know, if you were to ask what was going on with the ICU section, 
I have some others, but they are still holding on. And when we get to potting those up, I will run you through them. So not exactly successes happening over there yet, but these I could define as successes and messes. I thank you for joining me on this very quick little video. I'm gonna continue my spring cleaning. Oh, isn't that a wonderful word? Spring cleaning? Yes, it's motivating. But in the meantime, I hope to see you in the next video. Would love to see you subscribe to the channel. Say hi in the comments below. Love chatting with you, seeing new names. It's always so much fun. That is the best part about sad videos. I get to communicate with you afterwards. It just makes me feel so much better. That is the fun part about videos like these. Sometimes people subscribe. I see a new name. There's encouraging words in the comments. I appreciate you so, so much. You have no idea. It's hard for me to express. I wish you a fabulous day on that one condition, though. Please that you stay safe. Take care. Bye. Forgetfulness can be such an annoying thing, but in this case, it works in my favor because I can explain myself. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> A day later from filming my success and mess video clip, having said all that, I have not edited the video yet, but what I saw was that the camera, the Bluetooth was on and there may be static in the audio, which I may not be able to edit out. So, so frustrating. So first of all, having forgotten <laughs> that I didn't switch the Bluetooth off, I'm sorry if I could not edit out any of the static. The second thing to forget <laughs> was my Van der Leppard yawn. I'm done, I'm tired of it. I didn't see it when I was collecting all my orchids that I wanted to get rid of. Well, Leopard John, I'm tired of it. This orchid, the history is in the playlist, but I thought while we're here, why not have a look and see what the stem looks like because it has done nothing since I've put it into this pot with some water at the base. It's a goner as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, the playlist of my Vandacious Orchids has the entire history of this orchid. But for the sake of the video, let's have a look and see what the stem looks like. It should be pretty woody and no, no matter what I see, it's gonna go. I'm, I'm done, I'm done. So let's get you in a little bit closer and excuse the mess that you see right here at the bottom. You can see I've been done with it for a long time. Having said all that, I was always thinking I'm going to film it. I'm going to film it. Never got around to it. Here we are. We're filming it. So forgetfulness numero deux, my van der Leppard yawn. Let's see what is going on in the stem. And thank you so much for being gracious about the rubbish audio. Like I said, we'll see what that is all about when I get to editing the video. So the stem looks like there is still life in it, but it's going to go. The orchid is done, done in my books. And I'm sorry if anybody disagrees with me and says that needs to be saved. My Vanda Denisoniana, which I will put a picture in, I will show you that that one looked exactly the same couple of months ago I put it into an ICU setup with very high humidity and it just fell apart very very quickly so I hope that you can accept my apology I hope that you can forgive me and I hope that this clip is so much better even though the news isn't I appreciate that you stuck around to watch this little bit of an add-on thank you so much take care bye